Alright, what is up you guys makeups out here and I am back with another video and in today's video I'm a little excited because I am reviewing slash doing a mini eyeshadow tutorial I guess with some palettes that I just recently got. Now, um, the eyeshadow that I got is from Juvia's Place and I know that there is a lot of um, I guess conspiracy or just like bad reviews going around about Juvia's Place and with all of those going around it was really um, so what I'm looking for with all of those going around it was kind of hard for me to actually like get up the nerve to actually go and purchase these eyeshadow palettes for myself with um all the reviews about people not getting their products with reviews about people getting their product but it's broken or the eyeshadows were already swatched or they just didn't get their products at all and reaching out to customer service trying to receive help and either not getting the help or Juvia's Place blocking them I was like Ooh, maybe I shouldn't buy it like I don't know and I really wanted to buy these maybe about like six or seven months ago but I never actually had the nerve to buy it but I was on YouTube one day and but I was on YouTube one day and I was watching so many YouTubers doing beautiful eyeshadow looks I mean beautiful eyeshadow looks with palettes from Juvia's Place and I was like I want this eyeshadow, but do I do I really want to get blocked and not get my eyeshadow? Like, is it worth it? And I saw this last video, which I'll uh, probably post a picture of the eyeshadow look and the girl's YouTube channel right here. But when I saw this look right here, I was like, okay, that's it. We, we we gotta test the waters we got to see what's really good we have to see what is really popping so that is what we are doing today if you want to see the eyeshadow palettes that I got and the look that I come up with then make sure you keep on watching <laughs> So the first palette that I got is the Masquerade palette mm -hmm. and I originally wanted to get wanted to get the large Masquerade palette which was $28 and when I went to go buy it it was sold out. Mm -hmm. So I had and so I had to resort to the mini palette. And this is what the palette looks like right here. And this is the inside of the palette. Yeah. And I actually had some time to actually play around with this palette because I actually bought this palette and another palette first. And the reason why I got these two, those two first, was because um, the second palette that I wanted to get instead of this blush palette that I got was sold out. So I figured, okay, I'll just get this and the blush palette, and then like the day after or two days after the palette that I wanted came back in stock and they knew that I wanted it anyways this is the eyeshadow palette right here and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these colors for you guys want to swatch purple which is Chi I'm gonna swatch this purple which is Zubu gonna swatch this one which I believe is Bori or Borai which is this one and I'm going to go ahead and swatch this okay this one
Jaza. We're gonna put this one right. That is a highlight if I have never seen one before. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the Zulu palette right here. And this is what the packaging looks like. There is this beautiful Aztec tribal woman on the front of the packaging with all these beautiful colors and a stunning highlight my eye like look look at this highlight blinding blinding give a kiss give a hug oh thanks for my hug can a bigger hug oh you love mommy you want to stay here while your video yeah you want to see pretty colors I just dropped a little foil. Where where it go? I don't even know where it went. Okay. Asha. 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 Let's try to see if we can ah. And this is what the palette looks like when you open it up. It has these really big eyeshadow pans and let me see how much product you get in each one of these pans. Shadows are these eyeshadows are cruelty free and you get she 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 you get one point fourteen ounces in the palette. I'm not sure if that's 1.4 ounces per eyeshadow or just 1 point or 1.14 ounces per eyeshadow or just total but I'm gonna guess that it's 1.14 ounces total so again this is what the palette looks like there's a pretty there's a pretty orange a green yellow and this is like a teal color right yeah. so do you want to prime my eyes or use concealer should I use concealer or should I prime yeah concealer prime Bye. this okay which one this or this no this no no? Mm -hmm. Which one? No. That one? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. No. I have to, I have to, oh, I have to put it on my eyelid. I have to put it on my, uh, you're gonna. Here, you wanna put it on my eye? Oh shoot, I'm scared. Okay, now this one. Okay, all done. Okay, yeah, let's put this top back on. I think this would have shown up a lot better if I would have used concealer. So, what I'm going to do is wipe this off. LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Almond. And let's see how this does. This time I'm going to go into this highlight color right here. And now I'm just going to lighten it up with this color like I did the first time. And just put that right on top. I 
Okay, I think this might be a lot better. I'm going to get a smaller brush than this. I'm going to go in with this brush. Now I'm going to go into this purple. Yeah, I'm going to go into this purple. I'm really going to have to build this up. So I'm just going to take some concealer, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Put in the color almond again. And I'm just going to put that on a flat brush and cut my crease. Both of them are So... I'm going to be taking this Milani Prep Set and Go Translucent Face Powder to set my concealer. I'm going to dip into this color right here for my crease. Okay, so that wasn't the color payoff that I was looking for, so I'm just going to go in with my finger and see how that does. Fenty, I'm using Fenty Beauty Foundation in the number 480. I got this foundation on the Sephora website, so I don't think I got my specific color, but I don't really mind it too much. I'm going to pump this on the back of my hands. About that much.
and I'm going back into that yeah. Megalani translucent powder that I used before and I am going to use this on my Cupid's bow and I'm going to bake the rest of my face with Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder in the color or in the shade in the number 25. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using black opal and this is in the number 700 deep. So now I'm going into this palette right here which is the Saharan blush palette and I'm going to be going into this color right here for my contour. And for a blush, I think I'm going to mix this brown and this pink. So first I'm going to go in with the pink. Using the same brush I did for my contour. And tap off the excess. And Now I'm going to be tapping into that brown, tapping off the excess. Going back into my face powder brush, I'm going to be softening this blush. Unicorn Glow Palette by Face Candy and I'm using this color right here. And I'm also going to be going into this one right here just because I want to see how it does as a highlighter. So my final thoughts on the Juvia's Place eyeshadow, um, I think it's pretty good. Um, the pigmentation is definitely there as for the swatches when you do it on your skin but um, as for on your eyes it's okay but it's like buildable which I like buildable eyeshadows better than just like straight up bold eyeshadow so that way you can kind of just build up to the intensity that you want it to be my favorite palette out of these three palettes is definitely the Zulu palette it just has so many pretty colors in it bold and pretty and I like how it has at least like one neutral shade so then like you can do an orange with a brown or a yellow with a brown and teal with a brown or purple with the brown and you can easily just throw this with any other palette that you have and make it into a wearable eyeshadow and I really do like this palette as well I like that there is so many different like shades of brown in here and you can easily just make again a wearable look this one is definitely a lot more wearable than the Zulu palette I can see this being kind of like a everyday palette even with some of these colors right here if you were to able to like work it right maybe just like 
this color and some of these brown shades right here could make a really nice wearable look but overall I do like the eyeshadows um, the only thing that I personally wish that they would do is um, somewhere inside of these just put a mirror maybe just like around the woman just so that way you wouldn't have to keep on switching between the eyeshadow palette and the actual mirror um, I was using my this is my little makeup mirror right here that's not really workable for doing like close up when you really want to do like some good detailing and you know like getting into the crease and all that so I found myself switching from this palette to a mirror and then switching back to the palette and switching to a bigger mirror and it was just like a lot of work so if they could just put like a small little mirror just like around here I'm doing a giveaway and the giveaway is for an eyeshadow palette that I got from Juvia's Place and I'm just going to go ahead and grab that right now and this is the palette that I am giving away. I, one lucky subscriber will be winning this palette. All you have to do to enter to win this palette right here. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below how I can contact you. What was your favorite part of the video? What palette you liked? What palette you would probably buy? And if you have bought from Juvia's Place what was your experience with them that's it for this video i'll catch you in my next one and i see you all later